All right, welcome back to Blasphemous. There was some uh, save file confusion. I didn't really know which one I was supposed to, to load. I think this is the right one. We have our buddy Estras over here, and we need to head to the Library of Negated Words and find the key bearer. So that's kind of the thing to do. And I guess that means we just go over here. Don't think there's much else to do. Wait, have I given, like, do I have more, uh, more things here? Hatched Egg of Deformity. Wait, what did you do with this one again? Did we take it back? Oh, I don't remember a lot of this. Hold on. Did I bless stuff? Yeah, it's been a while. I think it's two weeks since I played this now, so you kind of forget a lot. Yeah, okay. The deformity has opened up. You have been granted three knotted tongues, able to grow. Oh yeah, and that's just tears of atonement because I'm done. Okay. And anything else? Oh, didn't I do this? Oh, I'm, I'm confused. Bring me. Okay. All right. So, did I have any like rosary knots or anything that I'm forgetting about? No. No empty bile vessels. We do have Quicksilver. We'll probably wait for a couple more before we do our tests. Yeah, the herbs are the thing that I was wondering primarily. Like, did I give one at the, the end of last time? I don't know. Time out, but, if you're but I guess we should confirm it again. I think we only have the ones that are like that are past this part. Yeah, time. Albero, we've done that. Hondo, we got that. Uh, Mountains of Endless Dusk, I believe we got that, yeah. Incense Garlic we got, but then it's this one. Patio of the Silent Steps, so that's later on, and Sooty Garlic is later on. So I think we've given four of them so far. Oh man, yeah, I don't quite remember. But I guess it's quite a way, quite a ways before we uh, fight a main boss again. I guess like I could even before the next boss, I could just make another backup and then kill it without giving a new herb and just confirming does it actually kill someone because yeah I can't remember if I already have given another one in anticipation of the next boss or if I have to find one and give one I guess I should have Spanished up here maybe I'll ignore the whole Spanish thing now it's kind of neat but yeah it's it's a bit of a hassle to swap back and forth and my aged skin. there we go we could skip that so, what's going on up here now, then? Nothing? Quicksilver? This is still nothing for now? It's later on, I guess? I mean, maybe it's part of this quest line. We have to go to the key, key bearer and do some stuff, probably. Don't quite remember. Oops. Yeah, okay. And. Hello. Oh, 
didn't even expect that I would be able to drop through. Yeah, these are quite a lot more problematic when they have, like, a lot of HP. And I guess I can go straight up there, right? Or... Can we? I think so, because I have all the mobility things. Oh, damn it. Yeah, it's just healing permanently, forever. Yeah, if using Quicksilver makes that go a lot quick... Oh, god damn it. Quicker? Maybe it would be worth it to upgrade a little bit? We'll see. Oh, I wonder if I could have, like, made that. Did you have one chance to make that? Maybe. Yeah, they're tanky. Holy crap. Yeah, let's check this way. So can I just go up here now? Well, this is going to be annoying. These guys are pretty tanky now. Okay, never mind. Ah, okay. We can go all the way up, but you still do need to pull the lever. Alright. Uh oh. Okay, that's dangerous. I'm pretty sure you would die if you just fall down. Don't remember. I guess you can't jump there. Maybe you couldn't make that jump at all. Yeah, taking a lot of damage here. Okay, that doesn't quite work. One second. Just healing up, that's fine. Oh, goodbye. Yeah. A lot of annoying enemies now. I'm not, like, into it quite yet. Don't remember everything, like, how you play this game. And then we have this, like, big one here. I should probably wait. Oh, no. It's not this screen yet. With, like dog thing. Yeah, it's just when they jump at you, they're a problem. If they don't, they're no big deal. Wait, why, why am I not healing, by the way? Did I forget to switch from the, like, Whatever I was using. Yeah, I still have the, like, double... Uh, double energy thing. Well, damn. That explains why this feels a lot harder. 
Oh, olive seeds. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, the question is, should I use it now or later? I'm going to hold off until we get to a new boss. Okay, you can do that. And yeah, isn't there a secret here? But like, can we open it from this side? No. That's just for later on. Yeah, here we go. Not sure how to best tackle this. Maybe just using spells. Yeah, okay. Shield is the best. Oh, whoops. No more healing now, though. There's a save point coming up, right? Yeah. Just in time. All right, let's get this mea culpa heart out of here. That'll help a lot. And then what do I have on here? Uh, what does that even do? Oh, it's a fervor thing. Yeah, don't want that. Probably don't want this. Uh, we confirmed... Oh, no, this one is still good. I guess just more damage. What else do I normally use here? Oh, yeah, we could do some uh, True Guilt arenas as well. Forgot about that. Maybe this one? Yeah, sure. Can I just ignore you? Yep, I can. Enjoy. I hope that doesn't, like, screw with the ending or whatever. I, I don't think it does. I really don't want to sit through all of his dialogue. No, oh, I hear the bell. Don't mind some more fervor. And I guess we just want to go to the library, like, as soon as I can. remember where this secret is. Oops. God damn it. I was waiting for him to throw the book and then he does it at the worst possible time. So wait, where's the secret? Wait, where is the secret? Do I even know about this one? Hmm. What is it chiming about? Oh, yeah, it's chiming about this one, but it's like a one-way thing, so we can't do that yet.
Yeah, here we go. Don't think I can talk about this quest thing right away. We're we're probably gonna have to like fix his problem. The sound yeah. creeps on thee for the love. For the love. For the love. For the love. Yeah, so we have to do that first, and then we can probably talk to him about our problem. Yeah, the healing definitely helps quite a lot. Health on kill. Oh, hello. Didn't think that was the same door. Now I have to re-kill these again. Oh, well, I guess I'll ignore that guy. Just gonna do this. So where was this dude again? Don't quite remember. Oh, uh, later. Yeah, not sure I'm going to be able to do all of those in this game mode, but we'll see. It is here. I thought it was, like, up here, all the way at the top. No? God, these ghosts are so bad! They are so annoying! Even more so in this one, when it's, like, as bad as taking a hit from a boss attack. Just taking one tick of damage from these. Like, I, I just don't see a way to actually properly evade them consistently. It's like, sometimes you can jump over them and sometimes you can slide under them, but there are times when you can't do either and you just take damage. And now we just wait for healing. I'll just go now, I think. Yep, I don't know. Should I have slid under there? Would that have worked? Maybe? Oh yeah, we got our flask back. What? What? I just lost a flask for ex executing him! Huh? Is that bugged? Where, like... Sure, you can get flasks back, but you can also lose them. That's very strange. I've been robbed. Screw you. That's gonna take way too many, but now I'm committed. Okay, only three. So what do we do here again? God, 
God damn it. Ooh, can I make that jump with the, like, speed boost? Aw, oh, man. I do have the speed boost on, right? I think I do, yeah. Too bad. That would have been nice. This one is scary. Okay. Not very tanky. Was it up here? Like at the top of this screen, maybe? No, it's right here. No, it's not. Don't want to do that. Yeah, I guess this, it is up above instead. Well, there's more in that screen. I might need to sneeze again. This is just like a... an extra screen, I believe. Let's go do that. Right, that worked out. No, oh, that did not work out. Stop. Why am I not taking damage? What the hell? Were they doing like fractions of damage? That was weird. Oh, okay. It just got pulped. Yeah, just tears, but there's more. I probably would have forgotten this without the uh, the bell. So that was a nice use of the bell for once. Oh boy, getting back is gonna be harder. Just gonna try and run. Yep. Ledge grabbing is probably my least favorite mechanic in this entire game. I really wish it was, like, a thing you could prevent in some way, either holding something to not ledge grab when you don't want to, or uh, holding something to ledge grab. It causes so many hits. Uh-oh. I don't like that. Don't like these either. You just keep spamming them. What what the hell? Why did I fall through the platform? Oh my fucking god. Holy shit, this area is so annoying in this game mode. Like it's totally fine normally when all of these do like fractions of a normal enemy's damage, but in this game mode, when everything is exactly the same, it's just so obnoxious. All of these, like, little more or less unavoidable hits. So where's the guy? I thought he was, like, up here or something. Where, where do you find the ghost? I checked, like, all of the walls on the way here. Is it further down? Is it really this way? 
you need to have the see ghost thing on? I don't think so, because, I mean, you, you should be able to see the corpse if you do. But I guess we could have it on. I just don't remember if it was up here. Maybe it was further down. There is a chime right here. Don't remember. Well, that's just here. Yeah, that's pretty obvious. Oh, hello. Take the next. It's pretty good. I do like more health. Did I even get more health? I guess I did. For some reason, I thought I had seven, but I guess I had six. Wow, why is this one so much tankier? Okay, and this stuff... Uh... What was this again? Can I even do it now, or do I need to... Wait... Femur... Oh, whoops. Femur, tibia... Kneecap... Not sure I've collected them yet. Just the tibia. Be fervent. It was like, remove everything. Yeah, I don't have the clues. What were the clues? What were you supposed to do? It's like, don't have any rosary beads equipped. And I don't know what be fervent means. Just full fervor. What was the, the last one? I'm, I might just look it up because I've already figured it out. It's fine. Bone puzzle. Just stand still. Do I have to stand still like here? Bone. Tibia. Get rid of everything and you'll have nothing to lose. Be fervent. Forbid you to move. Requal re removed all equipped items. Okay, but it, it is like... Even these, I guess? But I can't remove the mea culpa heart, so let's see if you need that as well. It includes Mea Culpa Heart. Well, damn. Whoops. Yeah, I guess we never confirmed that. I just removed everything and just... It ended up being... Completed. I don't know where the closest save point is. If it's... Up there or if there's one over here. Pretty sure it's not here. Oh, this might be where it is. Well, now I kind of can't get back up again. I mean, I can, but let's just ignore it for now. I mean, that's just like a spell anyway, right? So that's just tears. Oh, I guess I need this one. Yeah, I don't think I need this one. Let's hold off. Oh boy, now remembering everything, as always. I think I was having this on for some reason, but I don't really need it. I mean, I guess it's nice. Let's check if this gives us more health now. It's still only one, not two. Ah. Uh. 
yeah, I don't really know. There's not really much that is actually helpful. I always do this. I mean, I, I guess more damage from the prayer if I actually use one. Yeah, I want to say it's right here. No? Higher up? Stop! God damn it. Stop cheesing me! Uh, how did you get up above again? From there, I see. Alright, so I guess we do need to do this anyway. Oh boy. Can I hit this through? Yep. What even are these? What am I looking at? I don't understand this model. Crap. Hmm. Yeah, no, just the flying skull. They look weird to me. Can't really, like... Wait, what? Oh, there we go. Right. Can't really, like, work out exactly what I'm seeing. Yeah, here we go. And yeah, I don't need this active. Okay. What's that confirmed? Alright. Good job, guy. Hello. I, Dios dado, you have my gratitude. We are in the library. All that accompanies me here are these. All right, new stuff now. Watch your step. No. Watch your. Guess we have to go back to where Watch he your... he was originally, or maybe have to like wait until later. Not entirely sure. Well, I guess I since I have this, maybe we should go back and just complete this puzzle. Get the screen as well. So I guess I can just remove the Maya Culpa heart and have everything else on and just remove it when I get closer. Wrong button. All right, so oh, wait, I don't have max fervor. Yeah, all right. 
How do I lose? Oh, because I accidentally did it. That sucks. Right when I actually need fervor. Wow, this guy is so tanky. Like, tankier than the others of the same type. It's very strange. Shouldn't this be fine? How long did you have to st stand still for? What's going on? Do you have to have the bones? It was just unequip everything, have max fervor, stand still. Let me check this again. Get rid of everything, be fervent, I forbid you to move. Unequip the current mea culpa heart, all relics, rosary beads, and prayer. Wait. Did I forget the prayer? I forgot the prayer. Okay. Oh, there we go. Yeah. And again, not like it matters. 500 tears. Amazing. But still, just to like, have completed everything. Let's just save and quit. Stop. There we go. Uh, I, I guess we'll teleport back and check in. Hello, guy. Oh, there we go. The key of yours that you are carrying. It opens a door that was veiled in ancient illusions many eons ago. Did I forget to read that key? Oh, wow, it's right here. Of I'm not sure if there. I... I'm just gonna alt it for quick. I'm not sure if I read the description for that. It might have saved, in which case, oh well. Doesn't like that. Yeah, okay. We're here. Good. I mean, that's that's weird. It's not like it's, oh, every time I alt for the game, I get the... Stop. I get the patch notes. So there's something else to it, but I guess that's one of the causes? Ooh. Oh no, I just did it again! <sighs> Jesus. Get ready for some patch notes. No patch nose. Huh. Well, let's get this back then. All right. Key grown from twisted wood. A ponderous key grown straight from the trunk of a tree. Its surface is polished like an impossible carving, except for three striking knots that serve as teeth. A layer of molten gold covers its head, and only show of the only show of deference that deference, de deference to the traitor who was locked up in the deepest roots of Custodia. Diosdado observed that singular wooden key in a silence disturbed only by the rattle of his own breathing. After a long pause, he finally said, No, there is no other key like this. Shouldn't that be in quotes? Then he began to walk, leaning on the lamp that he used as a stick and looking around anxiously, trying to find something that would help him remember, remember the place where the strange door could be found in whose lock his unusual key would fit. He walked down long hallways, crammed with dusty tomes, past bookcases filled with ramshackle wooden shelves that had long ago 
rotted in the humid air, when suddenly he heard a grinding sound. The key of knotted wood was stirring in the palm of his hand and seemed to be twisting more and more. It was then that he released, uh, realized that he had found the door he was looking for. Kind of weird that, like, didn't Estrus just tell me, go to the Library of the Negated Words, right? Or did he not? I'm, I'm forgetting now, because if he did say that, that's kind of like a shame, because this would have been a cool puzzle. Like, this tells you all that you need to know. If you don't remember who Diosdado is, you can kind of infer it from just the, the lore description. Yeah, and in the end, it turned out to be the door that was right next to him all along. Crazy how that works. He's just being forgetful. It's like ketchup syndrome is what I call it when you're like looking for something on the table and it's like, where the hell is the ketchup? And then it's just like standing right in front of you on the table. All right, finally, we can actually do this. Thanks. The Thanks for the rhyme. Awaits thee. Be careful of what sleeps beyond. You ruined your rhyme. The door be All right. Uh sounds like a boss fight. But I guess I don't really want to change anything even if it is a boss fight. Maybe the mea culpa heart. Yeah, we'll just check it out. Oh, wow. That was easy. Didn't even hear the bell. Crimson Heart of Amura. What is Amura? Huh? 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 What did I just get? Where is that? Ah. Crimson Heart of Amura, a strange artifact said to be found within the corpse of the fiercest of bulls, also called the Egg of the Sovereign. The twisted features of its surface stir under the torment of its wearer, increasing attack speed when their health is low. A glint catches in its clouded eyes, the reflection of an eclipse of a foreign, invisible sun, a permanent mark caused by a masterpiece that transcends all in any borders. I mean, that sounds like the... The cherub guy? That bull? I don't know. Thank you for everything, master. Well, it doesn't sound that useful. If it was just, you get more attack speed, sure, but if it's attack speed on low health, no thank you. Would maybe be, be worth testing out, at least. I mean, I guess I, I'm not really using, like, this refill or something. That's fine. Let's just put it on and we'll see if it ever comes into play. Hello, not of the three words. Um, I kind of feel like before we do this, I should just... Uh, no, I guess this this is not a game you need to save. I'm like in Momodora mindsets or in the Momodora m mindset. Just like, I did stuff, let's, let's save. You don't have to do that. Hi. How's it going, guy? Okay. Penitent one of the silent steps, approach this face of pale gold with empty sockets instead of eyes. You stand before the roots of the knotted tree. Oh yeah, we're right below that. Interesting. For these form the bars of my captivity. They claim that my words are false and that mine is the face of deception. And for this reason, I have been exiled from my three other brothers, the Holy Guardian Visages. Do we know the Holy Guardian Visages? They betrayed me, punished me, and ripped out my eyes so I could know. I guess we do, because we did get those eyes last time, right? I just didn't know where to 
where to put them because I missed, this, uh, missed out on this. Darkness around me. May your compassion help you in the search for yeah, we got the ice. golden eyes. One of them can be found in a place inhabited by yeah. bone, ash, and song. That's, uh, was it Isidora or something? And that's the snake, I see. To which yeah, yeah. Head to die amidst the terrible thunder. Find my eyes, penitent one. For only then will I be able to reveal my secret to you. May your compassion help you find my stolen eyes. For only then may your compassion... Feels like they should repeat the like where they are, because that's kind of the important bit. But yeah, okay. This seems interesting. And yeah, like like we saw, I'm pretty sure that Isidora and the snake and all of that won't actually be harder than they were in the previous run, because it seems like they were just created to be baseline New Game Plus difficulty, which so is strange. Is... Uh, okay. This guy is a good overactor. <laughs> He's good at overacting. During the most profound silences, you can hear the gold melting. Yeah, we do need to collect all the bones. Well, not all, but most of the bones for Isadora. Okay. The visit at times. All right. Thanks, guy. So that's that. Uh, I mean, I guess do I just continue down here and get to sleep in canvases? Why not? Also, even though I haven't streamed for all that long, I might actually end it off relatively soon. Been having a bit of a headache for a uh, like a couple days now. It's not great. I might want to get a little bit of an earlier night, like 15 minutes earlier or something. Great, that'll help a lot. How did I avoid that? So I guess if there's a, a good ending point, I might just leave it off. Let's ignore this guy. Oh, I should have gotten the shortcut again. Where was that shortcut? Was it like here? I don't remember. No thanks. Yeah, here we go. Wait, did I remove something? Yeah, I have this one on. I mean, let's test this out while we can. So what is low health? Oh no. Me to do that. Still no. Oh, well, now it's definitely low health. But can I have one more? I don't like this. Yeah, it might be different in, in this system. God damn it. Well, let's just confirm one more time if it's like active when you have two. Because if it's only when you have exactly one hit left, then it's terrible. It's absolutely not worth it. Okay, it is when you have two, at least. 
But I don't know if it's like supposed to be a percentage or something. Oh, I, I got health back, so it stopped working. No, no, no. Yeah, it like makes that combo a little better, but not by much. Definitely not a fan. I don't think this one is uh, is worth it at all. All right, worth a shot. I'll just go back to the flask one. Damn it. Terrible parry timing. Man, this guy is very tanky. And we can't, we still can't do that quest, the chalice, not quite. Cause I need the like lion dude from the uh, the prison first. Oh, close one. That's a lot better. Oh no. You know, those ooh, dogs are a bit scary. Damn. Oh no. And there's the bull. I mean... Why not? Actually, I'm just gonna save here. Let's just only visit the bull when I have everything to see if, like, there's some special dialogue for that or something. Probably not. Oh, is this boss time? I think this is boss time. So, let me confirm then. We'll make a backup here, and then I'll kill this boss and we'll see if there's a gravestone in, uh, in town. Uh, I should be able to just delete the save file in save game one. Hold on, let me just confirm. Oh crap, now it's like overwritten so I can't see. One second. In the backup. Yeah. Yeah, that should be fine. I'm pretty sure I have the correct backup. So I guess we're doing a boss fight. Let's go with the classic. Uh, this one. And probably change some of these up as well. Let's get rid of this one. And I guess this one. Yeah, maybe we want to do the same, same thing I did. Just like that and this. Because, yeah, the shield is so damn good, I think it's worth it. Like, I don't need the slight physical damage bump. We just need more fervor gain so I can just have that. Oh, then again, like, didn't I have a problem where I was basically just always full? So it might be better to have this one. Uh, this is the one, right? Yeah. I'll probably get enough fervor regardless. 
So yeah, I might have to do this one twice. Hi, baby. Baby Rage. I wonder what happens if you, like, kill that one... one branch right here. Is that just, like, a different place you can hit for damage? Is that it? Well, he's dead. It was just healing. Yep. Not very difficult. It was kind of tanking everything. And that's it. All right. So, uh, yeah, let's just exit. Go back and we'll check in in town. Did I screw up? Because I, I kind of want to say I did give another one. Like, I already did give the next piece of... Uh, of herb stuff. So there shouldn't be a, a tombstone here. Yeah. I think we're good. So I can just give the next one now. Again, just to make sure this works, I, I think you can probably just give them all in one one go, but let's play it safe and just do it one after each Merciful boss. Be. So I'll leave it at that for now. Right, I have to actually... Oops. It would be nice if you could just teleport from, like, anywhere to these, but I guess that's too much. You can always just, like, save and quit if you want to get back to one. Uh, yeah, right here. And I guess we'll swap back again. Yeah, maybe, maybe this is actually a good place to end it then. Kill the boss. We uh, gave the next herb thing. We have another one to find here. Did I already find that? Uh, no, there's there's another herb thing to find here in Sleeping Canvases. So I guess I'll want to explore here a little more. And yeah, then kind of just like keep doing stuff. Do not have a return to bonfire prayer. Yeah, there is a return to bonfire prayer, but it's the most useless prayer in the game because this is the way you return to bonfire. And it's like quicker than actually using the prayer, like going in and equipping the prayer and then casting it. And like, even though, yeah, I get full, you, you still have to like sit down again, even though you get full fervor, it's just not worth using. It's never worth using, in my opinion. I feel like this one, should be free or something, or I don't know. It's just kind of weird to me. I mean, I guess they didn't expect people to just save and quit, but if so, then why not just have the Dark Souls system where, like, if you save and quit, when you load back in, you're just in the same spot you are. So save and quitting, I mean, you can still have you save and quit in Dark Souls in different ways, but, you know, it's like the same as in Hollow Knight for me, where in Hollow Knight, the same thing happens and some people consider it cheese and, like, cheating. I don't. I think it's, like, you know, if they didn't want you to do that, they wouldn't have coded the game to put you back to the bench with everything that you have intact. So, that's my reasoning anyway. Yeah, exactly. It also justifies doing the save and quit, since it is faster, since we do have infinite fervor. If I use that, I just have to sit down at the, the thing again. So, it, like, there's no reason, there's no difference. It's just... A couple seconds faster, basically. But yeah, that's it for Blasphemous. I'll try and play a little more next time so we get, get more progress done, but that was still decent progress. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good night.